Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we are talking about logic circuits. Alright, so what are logic circuits? Log logic circuits are actually uh, just some, some logic, yeah? some, some electronics, yeah? which do process signals. However, those signals has only two allowed, allowed levels, let's call it. All right. So actually you can think about a logic circuit of a block. Yeah. Here we have a block. We don't know exactly what is happening inside. We only see the outside because what is happening inside is pretty complicated, let's say. Yeah. So this is the logic circuit. However, what we do see is that we have a bunch of input and a bunch of output signals. Yeah? So there are input signals into our logic circuit. How many is not defined. Yeah? Can be a number of them, can be one. And there are output signals. As well, not defined how many. All right. The input signals are usually referred to as X. So we have an X1, we have an X2, we have an X3, and so on. And we might have an XN. Yeah? We might have several different input signals. So this X, XN are input signals. Yeah? And here, on the, on the other hand, we have the Y's. Huh? Why? <laughs> but why? Yeah, we have Y1, we have Y2, we have Y3, and so on. And we have my YM. I write M because the account may be defer. Yeah? So the Y are output signals. These are digital signals, okay? The, we, are, we are talking about digital signals. We only have two discrete allowed status, okay? Only two discrete values. And they are called usually zero and one. Yeah? What it means in real world, the real world is not digital, right? The real world is analog. Yeah. So uh, usual signals are, uh, in example, usual signal, null, zero volt, yeah? and one is five volt. This is called TTL, transistor transistor logic. Yeah, or zero is zero volt, and one is three dot three volt. That's a newer type of logic. These are usual signals. Yeah? So usually they are voltage signals, and one discrete voltage. Yeah? There is of course. Uh, tolerance around this uh, is reflecting one and the other discrete voltage is reflecting zero. Uh, this is how this is working. And the output signals are derived from the input signals. Okay, so the status of output signals are derived from. And here we have now several possibilities. We have several possibilities. We have one possibility from the status of input signals alone. That's one possibility. Okay, So the output signals are derived from the input signals 
due to whatever rule. Huh? So if this and this is there and that not, then we set the first, and so on. Yeah? Second possibility. Yeah? From the current. state and from possible previous states of the input signals. This is a circuit with memory function. So somehow the previous states of the input signals might already have some influence on the output signal. Yeah? Not just the current state, but also the history of the signals. Yeah? For instance, one very, very uh, logic. Yeah? If I have a button and I turn on something with this, yeah? I give a signal to turn on. Then the output is turned on. And if I'm turning off with the same button, yeah, then I put I put in the same signal. However, now the output is turned off, right? Previously it was turned on, and now it's turned off. Yeah? So it is two different things depending on the state and previous things which happened in the circuit. Okay, and then third uh, third possibility is yeah. From all the stuff, yeah. From the signals as in two, yeah. And maybe some time passed. Huh? Oh, from the signals in in two, yeah. And there is passing some time, yeah, and then suddenly the output is changing without any input signal change. Yeah. One possibility would be, I don't know, uh, if you press a button, then the light turns on, and after two minutes the light turns automatically off because it's uh, somewhere at, uh, at, a, at a big building here at, at the outer outer part. Yeah, uh, no, there is no signal anymore, and the lights are already turned off. So this is then timing. Yeah. So these are the possibilities and these are signals and the logic inside can either be described by some logic elements, base logic elements or by Boolean algebra and well Boolean algebra we are going to talk about then we see okay then it's written y1 equals something something and uh, the base elements we are go also going to talk about. Huh? So that just to understand what is a logic circuit. Next time we are going to talk about base elements. Huh? You can build any logic circuits with a handful of base elements, huh? and then yeah, you can have almost every logic you can imagine. Huh? This is how computers work, and so on. Huh? They have a lot of base elements inside. Yeah. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.